Rosa Fajan, welcome to our show. Thank you so much for having me. We appreciate you coming Thank here. You. Now you have some I big news for here. us. I do, yes. So tell <laughs> us about your big news. I am representing the city of Artesia in the Miss California USA pageant. Okay. And um, I'm so excited and this is, you know, a dream come true for me. Well, it sounds like a big dream. It is. Now, if you could tell us a little bit about you first. Okay. We want the viewers to know who you are. Uh, if you could tell us where you went to school and uh, sure. what you're currently doing. Yeah, um, I'm actually a junior at Cal State Fullerton. Okay. I study political. Right now, currently for the summer, I'm just preparing for the pageant. Inshallah, it'll be in January. Um, so just a lot of training and spending time with my family and of friends. Of course, yeah. summertime. Yes, yeah, summertime. Uh, <laughs> definitely. So if you could uh, let our viewers know, there are a lot of young ladies out there that uh, would like to follow in your footsteps. Mm -hmm. Now, you've already um, been represented by Artesia. Yes. So if you could give us an idea of what it takes to uh, get to all these different rounds, if, 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 if I'm characterizing it sure. correctly. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, basically, what happens is you apply. You can go to the Miss California website and there's a section, a drop down where you apply. After that, there's a series of interviews. You go through um, a phone interview, you go through uh, a couple of other steps and then you, if you're lucky, uh, you get to a group interview. And then at that point, um, once you pass that, you get your one-on-one -on -one interview. And um, it's basically decided right then and there at that point based off of your one-on-one. -on -one. And then at that point you're in and it's, it's a whirlwind after that. I so. can imagine. Yeah. Now, um, there is a myth that uh, historically in the past, um, any of these pageants mm -hmm. were considered beauty pageants for mm -hmm. whether it be Miss America, Miss California, mm -hmm. Miss Universe. Um, but it seems like that's changed a little bit in the past. And it's no longer about just beauty. No, They're looking no. for folks yes. with more. Yes, absolutely. Nowadays, uh, the, the pageants aren't just about beauty anymore. Of course, beauty takes a big part in the role. It is a beauty pageant, but you know nowadays they're looking for girls who are well-rounded all across all across the table. You're looking at, you know, having high marks in your education. You're looking at what kind of causes, what kind of charity work you do, what kind of volunteer work you do. It's really about getting your community involved, and that's really what the Miss California uh, organization looks for in their potential candidates. And I can say just from all the girls that I've met so far into uh, this process, they have all been so extremely well poised and you know so smart and so giving back to their community and that's really what it's all about okay so speaking of community I'm glad you brought that up because I wanted to ask uh, you have to have a community to support you yeah in this case you have uh, the city of Artesia um, what is it that um, they can do and what is it that we can do to help support you and help you move forward uh, in, in the process. Well, I'm so glad you asked that. That's actually a huge thing, getting uh, the community involved, because it, at the end of the day, it comes down to sponsorships and having you know your community, your friends, your family all sponsoring you, because you know this, this journey is a long one, and, uh, and sponsorships go along. To be involved in the community, you naturally have to spend a lot of time. So earlier, you mentioned how you're involved over at Cal State Fullerton right. uh, and also here locally too. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that, especially the younger viewers who aspire to go into uh, a pageant like this? Okay. Um, uh, wh what are some of the organizations that you work with and what do you plan to do afterwards? Okay, um, yeah, so at Cal State Fullerton, I am part of the Pakistani Student Association. I'm actually the president of the group and each year they put on a culture show and within that culture show we have a fashion show segment, we have a dance skit, we have skits, we have the consulate come to speak. Uh, just a lot of fun stuff to get the community back involved but ultimately it's a fundraiser, raising funds each year. We pick a different charity and we, uh, the money that we raise through this uh, fundraiser we go ahead and we donate it back. So last year the school picked Saba Trust and it is basically you know, promoting education for women and children in Pakistan. So they were able, with all the funds raised, to build a school, which, mashallah, has been amazing, you know, to be able to really? see all that That's hard work brilliant. coming to fruition. And so um, through that, I do a lot of work and, you know, put in a lot of time with that. And then as far as I other... Imagine. Plus you, you have know. your school. And plus I have school, <laughs> yes, right. yes. But, you know, it's it's all about priorities and how you balance your time. And, you know, it's... It, it's really awesome to be able to give back to your community and to see also where you grew up or from your homelands, you know, to be able to help Absolutely. everyone out there. Absolutely, because they look at us for help. 
Absolutely. You know, they look towards us because there is um, uh, a lot of mechanisms here in the West to be able to raise funds, to be able to bring some level of awareness. Mm -hmm. Now, in your case, you picked education for yes. women and children uh, in Pakistan, and uh, that was for this year. Yes. So this uh, organization that you're with, mm -hmm. well, I should say that you lead, yeah. um, every year you pick a different cause, or is it always the same cause? You know, for the last two years, they picked the Saba Trust in welfare, um, which has been amazing to be able to build a school and then to be able to be able to one year later go ahead and give back even more and to see how far they've come. Uh, each year it's a it's a joint effort. The club goes ahead and they you know they decide on which charity they'd like to be involved in. So once the school year starts again, inshallah, I'm sure the group will get together and decide do we want to continue to raise funds and you know maybe build something in addition it's to different. the school or should okay. we pick another cause and you know try to oh, help out great. in another way. Yeah. That is really great. And yes. all the money that you raise uh, goes towards the cause? Absolutely. All, all So you it. don't keep a portion of it for no, the club? Not at all. Uh, oh, you know, there you can. Yeah. You know, you don't have to donate all of it. Um, last year, I believe they give they gave everything, you know. And uh, after yeah. Now, is, is the total amount, uh, is that something that you can disclose? Or um, do you um, keep that within your group? No, it's definitely yeah. something we take pride in. It's yeah. something, you know, we, we build this up as a community and it's it's the community who gets involved and donates so of course we would love to give back I believe the grand total I want to say if I'm not mistaken was around 10,000 oh, just yeah. from one night just one, one night just a lot of yeah a lot that of, that's great. a lot of networking a lot Absolutely. of marketing but that's why in the end it, it's so worth it so it's grassroots movement, basically you and, and, and your colleagues, your classmates yes. that um, you get together, bring your families in. Yeah, absolutely. And everything from selling cookies to samosas and whatnot, <laughs> and you raise $10,000 just for that. Absolutely, always. I'm a big advocate for education, so whenever I hear that there's a new school built somewhere around this world, it just really makes me proud. Absolutely. And I, I congratulate you Thank on that. Thank you so much. And continue the good work. Now, you also mentioned a little bit of work that you uh, get involved in uh, here in Mishibiho as well. Yes. Uh, there are certain <laughs> events around uh, the um, uh, uh, Islamic Society of Southern California. Yes. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, alhamdulillah, I, I try to be as involved as I can within my community, within my mosque, and all the events uh, that they go ahead and promote and they hold. As far it could be anything from you know World Refugee Day to going and welcoming you know people coming in as refugees or it could be anything from helping out the preschool that they have at my local mosque right. you know um, there is no deed that's too small I believe Absolutely. and any even if it's volunteering on a Sunday for Sunday school it's right. whatever I can get myself involved in I, I definitely like to take part in it it makes me feel good it makes me feel good to know I'm giving back to my community my people and what better place for me to, you know, to spend my time with? Then you know? right there with the uh, people. <laughs> now that's great. Uh, Zofa, you know, if you can give us an idea of some of the causes that you want to be involved in in the longer term. Yeah. I have a lot of interests, uh, maybe a dozen different organizations, but um, uh, at the moment I'm only involved with a few. What are some of the causes that you want to be involved in going forward? You know, um, inshallah, since I am a political science major, I do want to get heavily involved with the organization CARE which stands for the Council on American Islamic Relations. Inshallah, I would love being, uh, you know, an Afghan, Pakistani, Muslim American myself. I think it's extremely important to be able to educate everyone on, you know, the importance of Islamic relations nowadays. Unfortunately, Absolutely. there's been a really negative light shown on, you know, Islam and, you know, Muslim Americans nowadays. And I think it's really important to be able to give back to the community and educate everyone on what it really stands for and to be able to help my my homelands along with every other Muslim country out there and uh, that's a big platform in my Miss California USA uh, stance too because that's something that I hold very passionate and um, something that I, I strive to work for. That's great, day. that's Thank great. You. Yeah, you have to work your way up there. Um, uh, being involved in these organizations certainly requires a tremendous amount of time. Now you have your school and you have some of the other um, activities that you're involved in. So yeah. it's always good to have a goal in mind and I applaud you for that. It's a great Thank organization you. and I'm Thank sure you. that they'd be grateful for your, uh, any help that you can I provide. I appreciate it. Now let's, let's talk a little bit um, about the pageant itself. Okay. Uh, because the criteria naturally is no longer uh, beauty. Mm -hmm. You're obviously beautiful and you're, you're part mm -hmm. of the pageant, mm -hmm. but they're looking for folks who are involved and naturally you're mm -hmm. involved in here. Um, but they're also looking for folks who uh, know about politics and about 
um, uh, events yeah. that happened, for example, in the past. Yes. And one question that I like to ask of, of uh, uh, folks that come on the show and yeah. also in, in social settings is that if you could go back in time, okay, okay? Yeah. if you could go back in time and meet anybody, mm -hmm. who would it be and what would you ask of this person? Oh, that's such it a could fun be a question, question. Yeah. yeah, or a, a, <laughs> not necessarily ask to give, but yeah. just what question would you want to know? Or what answer? Okay, um, you know, I am a political science major right. at Cal State Fullerton, so I'm a huge. Um, I'm into policy. I'm into history and all of that. And if I could go back in time, I think I would really want to meet Aristotle. Aristotle, just because okay. I know um, Aristotle only because you know from the from the research I've done and from what I've been educated on, I I really like a lot of his philosophies on life. Okay. I try to apply a lot of that into my everyday life. Um, if I were to quote him, one of my favorite quotes to live by actually is Aristotle and he said, uh, th everything's bound to happen for a reason. Right time, That's right person, true. and for your Wait. For the right reason. For the right reason, Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's a quote I love to live by, and it's it's definitely going to help me within this journey that I'm about to embark on, and inshallah, it all works out. Absolutely. Now, you're not on this journey by yourself. No. You mentioned earlier about coaching. Yes. So once you become involved in the organization, mm -hmm. um, the Miss California in this case, uh, you mentioned um, there are certain steps that they help you with and coach you along the yes. way before you get to the final round. Yes. What, what, what are those coaching steps and how can how do they help you? Okay yeah there are a lot of uh, pageant coaching uh, sessions that you can go ahead and get yourself involved in because you know it's it's not enough just to be educated and smart and beautiful and you know poised it, it takes a lot about how you present yourself and right. um, the littlest thing that you wouldn't exactly think about is taken into detail like extremely when it comes to sure. pageant coaching and it comes in from how you walk how you smile how you carry yourself how you interview the interview portion is huge I can imagine. Um, when it comes <laughs> to the pageants so th a lot of time is spent on how you give your answers um, how to articulate what you want to say in a timely fashion and uh, you know when going into it I thought like I, I this isn't hard I can I know how to walk I know how to talk I you know I, I think I look good most of the time, so I can do this, <laughs> right. but um, no, it's, it's so meticulous, but you know, it's so fun because this is something I want so much right. that um, it's hard work, but I, I take a lot of pride in it. And another big aspect of it is Miss California is very big on your fitness. They okay. don't want um, skinny girls, which a lot of the times people <laughs> think, right? In magazines, that's right, what they, that's what they promote, the absolutely. Right, yeah. But um, what they want is someone who's physically toned and fit who eats you can tell a lot by if someone is eating healthy if they're working out every day so you know I I got myself into a gym six days a week I I cut out a good lot of good <laughs> stuff that I, I wish I could eat but you know it's, it's a lifestyle change really it is. you know but it's and ultimately it's helping me in the end absolutely yeah. so um, it's a lot of training a lot of hard work but it's a lot of fun that sounds like a lot of fun. It is, yeah. If, if, um, I, well, now you're looking at a one year journey here, right? Because yes. your entry into 2013. Mm -hmm. So between now and then, uh, how much hands on training is there and how much is it on your part? In other words, do they have a coach that calls you up once a month or mm -hmm. do you do certain things? Are there certain milestones that you have to meet? Okay. Um, well, once you are accepted into the pageant, it's basically they, they provide you with all the tools that you need to be able to get yourself to the level. Um, at state level once it's time for the pageant but it's up to you to go ahead and make those calls and you know to call the pageant coaches and to set up uh, appointments and to set up you know appointments with your nutritionist and everything like that it's so quite a bit of work. it's a quite a lot of work <laughs> and it's a lot of marketing and yeah, networking and it's right. it's really it they take it you have to take it upon yourself to get yourself to that level no right. one's gonna go ahead and hand that to you you know and, right. and I think that's what makes this organization so wonderful because you have over I want to say 150 girls coming together okay. who are all so motivated and right. all so like dedicated into making this work that they go the extra mile and they get the coaches and they get the training and they get the sessions in and you know um, it's I know I just got into all of this but and the pageants in January inshallah but I know from now until then I'm I'm pretty booked with you a lot of a uh, lot of coaching, yeah. No, absolutely. That's great. That's good. Well, we we want to wish you all the best of luck. Thank you so if much. If there's something that you can ask of the viewers mm -hmm. of our community, yes. Uh, how can we help um, promote you? How can we help your cause? Because you're obviously looking at some causes you want to be involved in right. in the long run. Right. Um, what is it that we can do as a community to help um, your success? You know, so far, 
I the outpour of support that I have received from my community alone with my friends, my family, and just my general community has been so overwhelming and it's been so nice and I, I almost feel like I've already won to be honest just because when you get involved with something like this of course you want your community to, be, to support you Absolutely. and the love that I've received and just the warm wishes has just been so nice and so you know motivating for me in a whole different aspect but um, you know if the community does want to get involved and you know I do have a Facebook fan page up you know so everyone can go ahead and see my journey and see all my updates and I post you know videos and pictures and you know everything that I get involved in and okay. that's at Zulfia Ali Minnelli for Miss California USA 2013 okay um, on there I do have a spot for if you know you want to sponsor me or you okay. know stuff like that you can go ahead and contact me and you know that's all I can really ask for just support that I, and I've been getting it and it's been it's been a surreal no that's great now you uh, when you mentioned community I you know it, it, we should also let the viewers know that there are multiple communities yes. you know you're obviously talking about the American community right. in your neighborhood right you're talking about the community in Artesia yes. who's rooting for you yeah you're also talking about the students at Fullerton mm -hmm. so these are all the places and then you also have two additional sides yes. right you have your Afghan side and you have your Pakistani side yes. and you also have the Muslim community so there's quite a bit uh, here yes. now we're all rooting for you mm -hmm. um, if if there's something that we can do please keep us in mind Absolutely. we're always here and that part you. of the reason why uh, I wanted to have you on the show is uh, first of all to congratulate you, you. Uh, on on uh, being in, in, in the pageant uh, in addition to that I also wanted to point out to the student uh, to the to the younger folks that uh, Zulfa John is a very good student she is a Cal State Fullerton she's Thank studying you. political science you know she has aspirations and it really makes me proud to see uh, folks in our community uh, continue their education so yes. uh, nice work on that Thank I wanted so to much. highlight that as well Thank so, you so much I appreciate that we look that. forward to seeing you absolutely and, uh, when when as, as you go forth make sure that you know you keep us up to date I would love to yes yeah and and we'll come back and we'll bring you back here next year with uh, your successes yeah, hopefully with the crown this time right Absolutely. yeah great <laughs> is there a message that you want to give to the younger viewers folks that want to follow in your footsteps yeah what is it that they could do uh, whether it's to be involved in the community whether it's to be involved in school what is it one or two key things that they can do folks that are maybe 15 16 years old and when you know uh, get into the time yeah you know um, I definitely want to let the younger community know, you know, to to ha dream your dream and then go live your dream. You know, we're we're in an age where we can accomplish anything if you set your mind to it. You can go ahead and do it. This has been my dream since I was a little girl, and to be That's able to great. sit here today and to be able to be in it is is amazing. And I want to let everyone know that you can do whatever it is you would like to do. You know, whether it's becoming a beauty pageant queen or you know becoming a doctor or becoming an astronaut you can you can definitely do it it's you know there's no limitations anymore and you know you have the support of you know our community your family and inshallah you will you'll be able to achieve whatever you set out to achieve that's good well thank you very much for your thank time you. appreciate your uh, uh, insight